Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. Kind of. Well, we're still doing landscaping. Uh, we're trying to get uh, some stuff filled in here. Don't want to go too much here because I still have some stumps down in this trench right here. So i got to get those out. Uh, so, And I think we've still got a plenty, a plenty, a plenty of stumps over here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. we still got a lot of stumps over here. So we're going to go out a little bit here. And uh, go ahead and fill some of this in. So I've been thinking about this. Um, you know, I had thought about, you know, doing like a step down over here somewhere. Uh, and then keeping this original part here kind of where it's at. But, you know, I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to do it. Um, go ahead and make this all even with that. Make the field even. And then what I'm going to do is we're planning on uh, deconstructing this bridge. Uh, at some point in the future because we're going to join this part over here with this part over here we're going to put a huge field line never been done before uh it's a government funded project so we're good to go there uh we're going to make this all merge together so we got to get rid of this tree line here uh all these trees back here have to go uh and then eventually these trees here too will have to go now you might be saying well there's a fence down through here somewhere uh yeah there's a fence right there we're just going to bury it yeah just going to bury it and what we're going to do is, when we do this, when we bring this big flat area up over here, it's going to join up into these areas over here. And then we may have to do some little step ups or step downs over here, but what that'll do, hopefully, is help us cover this, and we can actually build that up a little bit to cover those trees. Uh, and then we'll bury these trees down here. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. Just, you know, might as well, um, you know, YOLO, right? That's, that's my... Uh, that's my theory on it. So basically we'll just close that gate or leave it open and then just bury it all. So, but the good news is it will not exceed the level of the railroad crossing because we established that in uh, one of the last videos. Uh, I have got to get that rake. You know what? Let me go get that rake. Let me go get that rake. I've been saying I'm going to get that rake. Let me go get that rake. Where's a tractor that is close enough that it's accessible? This one's way up there. We have to use a truck. That guy's way over there. He's in a parking thing. Uh, where's this guy at? Actually, I need to, you know what? I need to hire him back out because he's supposed to plow this. Let me get him going. Been trying to get field work done too. Uh, just minor stuff, not planting anything yet. Uh, basically, what I want to do, uh, I got everything fertilized and I can turn that off to show you that I got everything fertilized on this mega field so now I'm over here trying to plow all of this out over here on the west side so we'll just hire him and let him run here go buddy go all right still on the search for a tractor somewhere close over there uh I think this is gonna be the closest guy Oh, you know what? That's a three-point hitch, and this doesn't have a three-point hitch. So it won't be this guy. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. It's got to be a tractor. This guy's way over here. You know what? I may have to use a new tractor that I purchased. I say it's new. I, it might have been kind of used. It's the John Deere 4440, guys. This is a uh, mod, of course. It's one of the older John Deere tractors. Figured I'd get this. It does. It will take a front loader and stuff. So I figured I'd get a tractor like this to uh, help with the animals when I get into them. Get into the animal part of the this map. Don't know how many animals I get into, but uh, definitely we'll get into some. Go a little in cab. The in cab could use a little work. Could use a little extra more detailing to it, but you know, kind of goes along with that. What was that 8820 combine we had here? Kind of goes in line with that. I need to come back and cut the rest of that right there. Left a little bit there. Oh, my guy's about out of diesel that I hired up there plowing that out. Okay, this is a slow tractor. I didn't realize it only went 18 miles an hour. This is kind of why I want to just keep it, you know, just for um, the horses and stuff. Boy, we're getting a little bit of lag there. I wonder if it's the tractor doing that or the map. You know, this map does lag a little bit right around in here. Oh boy. Big time. Let me do a little spin around here. Don't get dizzy, guys. 
Could be these bales too. We'll get those sold one of these days. Uh, you know what? Let's take the railroad. We'll just go along the rails here, ride the rails here for a little while. Can I put my hazards on? Oh yeah, I can put my hazards on. Now that I'm off the road, it makes sense. Whoa. Something back there that made that thing pop up. So yeah, gonna finish, uh, well not finish, gonna do some more landscaping today. You know what, this is just a two-wheel drive tractor. It's not a four-wheel drive. And I can put duels on this right I, right now. I've just got singles on it, but you can put duels on this. You can change the brand name. Boy, this thing does not like these railroad tracks. If I can get in the middle here. And then eventually we'll get off this government... Uh, Grant or loan or whatever this is, not a loan, grant, I think it is. Subsidy, no, that's not it. I'm gonna say grant. And we'll get back to actual farming. And I'm uh, sorry if I'm pausing a lot, I'm, I'm yawning, I'll be honest. And uh, I don't know, I'm very, very, um, I guess, tired maybe? That's why I'm yawning. Now let's see, how sharp down does this go? Oh crap. Um, I have to come through here. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get this rake here. Of course, it would be turned around the other way. This thing has been over here for a while. It's been sitting out in the rain. I hadn't been taking care of it like I should be. This thing should hook up, right? Yeah, there we go. So you can say it looked like it started phasing through there. Let's fold that up. Let's see if this tractor's got enough power to pull it out of here now. It should. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Here we go. Now we're getting out of here. Come on. Pull it out. Pull it out. Come on. Here we go. All right. So I'm just going to park this over here somewhere. Oh, by the baler. Looks like a good spot. There's the, there's our baler right up there. Right by our mower, too. So I'll just park this in here for now. Shut that off and turn our hazard off. Okay, so back to landscaping. Basically, just want to kind of get some stuff filled in here as much as we can. Um, see where, see how this is gonna go. Uh, let's make that up there. And I think what I'm gonna do is go this way with it. And if, I mean, if, if I want to, I could plow, once I get this all expanded out, I could plow this up and go ahead and plant something on it just until I get all the trees, you know, out. So, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go across the road up here and I can cut back through it if I need to, to be able to get over to that thing. But I want to see where this is going to come out at, just out of curiosity here. This should get pretty even with this hill here. Yeah, it looks like it's going to. Yeah, pretty pretty flush with it looks like. Maybe it will. Yep. Will it bury these trees? Almost buries those trees. Almost. Okay. 
So I've got this on this side. I'm going to cut the road back out here so that I can get through here with my other stuff. Here we go. All right. I just kind of wanted to see where this would match up with everything. So we'll continue on here. It should work pretty well. This should meet up with this other hill over here. And it does, and then see, we can smooth that out and then make it flush up with it. And then there will be a little bit of a heel here, but we can make it work. Kind of smooth it down a little bit and, you know, round about it. Question is, do I want to go over here with it too? I would say yes. Get these trees cut, cut bury this fence here. And then we could bring this over, you know, like Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, bring this hill on over. So, let me see. If we brought it over from there. There's no trees or anything down here, I don't think. Let me, let me double check here. I didn't check this beforehand, so I don't think there's any stumps or anything down here. Let me switch to my uh, painting tool here. I can get turned around the right way where I can see. Uh, no, we won't keep that. I want to do some grass. Here we go. Let's see if there's any stumps down here. There shouldn't be any stumps down here. I think I got them all. Okay. So if we take this on over, it will bury that fence. Oh, crap. You know what? I need to get on... Uh, landscaping that might help a little bit there we go and then this will kind of join up with that too okay so this will uh, this will work we just got some trees to bring down and then we've got to get over here and uh, bring down uh, well I might not cut these I may leave these but definitely like right through here, maybe starting right in here, just where this tree line is at. Cut these on back. Get all these cut around this. We'll put field lines in here. So that will work. It may be mad crazy, but it will work. So, all right. So we got to cut all these trees here. And when I say cut, I mean just, you know, Get over here with like a the brooks and matter of fact I think I already left it over here. Yep, there it is right there. And there's a plow that I was, you know, actually starting to make this with, but we'll scrap this project now. I'll get that plow out of there. And uh, I need to get this out of here too. The uh, old original stump grinder there. Or I'd uh, say so that's the original. I think that's the Stevie edit of it. But yeah, fill all this in, make it nice and flat. And if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it from here. Let's go up here a little bit. By doing this, we'll get rid of these trees and stuff back here. By doing this, we're kind of making this land back here a little bit better because you don't have this big dip coming down. This is going to be kind of nestled right up against it. There's still going to be a little bit of a hill there, but we're going to smooth it out real nice. And um, this will make this more, I hate to say the word, flattable. But yeah, it'll be a little bit more, a little bit more flattable, and we like flat. We like flat. We like taking out hills. I'm glad they gave us this tool. I've got a little too much power, but you know that's okay. Sometimes you know a little power is is a good thing. I hear rain is a good thing too. You know. All right. So basically, we've got a lot of filling in to do here. Uh, wonder what would be the best course of action that or that. Probably that. That's wider, isn't it? Just go up and down, kind of like we did over there with the uh, the plateau region. Oh, you know what? I need to go over and see where this will meet up at over here. So let me put that thing back on. Am I zoomed out all the way? Yep. So I'm going to take this on over this way, and then I'll cut, like I said, a hole right there where the road is.
You just want to see where this is going to come out at, you know. All right, looks like we're kind of flush there now. Again, smoothing goes a long way, so no worries there. Uh, and then down here too. Now let me see. I don't think there's any stumps down here. I think I ground them out. Yeah, I dug that hole out to grind that out so we can come right through there with one. One little pass here. So this is actually going to merge right up here. Somewhere. Right there. Almost right with the road. How about that? So you see what I'm talking about? This You'll have this little hill up here, but then when you get to right here, this is going to go this way and make all of this flat. And then we'll smooth this out. Still got some trees. We're going to cut down more trees, but you know that's not a problem for us. And basically, I'm going to go over to the pond there. I'm going to see where I'm going to be at with the pond. Which means I've got to go around this hill. I don't want to go straight through there because that will actually cut down part of that hill. And I don't want to cut down any more of that. Well, or do I? I guess we could. We could cut this hill down and make this flat. Because it's only, it only is a hump right here. I mean, we can flatten this over to that point. Alright, let me make actually make this smaller so I can kind of see where we're going to be at. i got to go through the trees here. Or actually, you know what? It might be wide enough to go through there. I think we can make it through there. Let's try that. Get turned around here. Find a good angle point here. So we will cut into this hill. Have I got enough room? I think I've got enough room. Yes, we do. All right, let's go on over here. Got a lot of trees there in the way. Just want to make sure it's not going to overtake the pond. And I think we're good. I think it's I think it's about the same level as the pond, so we can keep the pond. We really don't want to bury it, I don't think. We'll keep the pond there. Yeah, looks like it'll make it nice and even around it here. Just got to get in and cut some trees. Okay, so that looks good. So we know what it'll look like kind of over here. Uh, go ahead and fill this on the end where it matches up here. Okay. So we know what this will look like. God, you know, this is going to take forever to plow out. This is going to take a long time to plow. But, you know, it's not a bad thing because we do have GPS now. So we can just set it and forget it, you know. Just stay with it until it gets to the end. And let it do its thing. Alright. Let's cut these roads back out so we have, you know, at least a passageway to get through here. Just wanted to get them matched up, you know. See what we can do with it. Smooth that out a little bit so there's not a mad bump there. And we got some stumps to grind out down here. So we got to get back down here with our grinder and our brooks. Let's just cut that on out, smooth that out so there's not a big, huge mega bump there. Okay. So we know where we're going now with this. We're going to make this flat. And this will all join up with the uh, the railroad over here. Matter of fact, we can go this way with it. It should join right up with the railroad. Whoa, don't, whoop, careful. Whoa. My, uh, I got to keep this up here. I forgot about that. Alright, so we're going over here. It should join right up flush. And it does. That's the good thing about the railroad. I think the railroad is pretty much level. And even, I think it stays flat. So we can kind of use it as a guide for our 
landscaping needs here and these bushes you know they can just stick up out of this it kind of matches up even almost with it so there's some places you know like down here where some of those bushes go down but for the most part I think that should work it will make it a whole lot better when we get ready to uh, actually work this ground so we just got a lot of trees to get out we got these trees up here we got trees over there all those trees over there but I mean think about this when you look at the map let's go to the map and look at this let's get out of that think about this you look at this part of the map this is gonna be pretty much almost half of the map here when we get this done with this project because this is the plateau up here right the, the big blue triangle looking thing we're gonna join this from all the way down here to here all the way through up here well actually it goes more over we're gonna join all of this together and it's gonna be flat almost the same elevation as this but not because we are this is a, this this blah, this does sit a little higher uh, just because of that tree line that's there along that creek so we can't change the elevation of this so what we're gonna do is kinda bring it down right here over this uh, creek here and we're gonna put field lines in that creek you know field lines air quotes you know uh, and then we'll flatten all this out and this this will be a lot of land to uh, to work we could put cotton down here if we wanted to we could put anything down here once we get it plowed out so looks like we got a plan guys um, Basically, I'm going to get back to uh, stump grinding here. And uh, some of the things I have to grind out with the robud because I can't get the uh, bio belt thing in there. But uh, everything else, you know, we can take with the, uh, the bio belt grinder, which is quicker. Some of these are just hard to reach. So that's the plan, guys. We're going to get in here and get our hands dirty and uh, get these stumps out, get a lot of these trees cut. And uh, yeah, go from there. We'll come back and. Uh, be working on something, I'm sure. Alright guys, until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see y'all later.